Hey, so I I had a fun video to post today. Um, I'll post that fun video tomorrow. Instead, I wanted to um, just take today to acknowledge the uh, the school shooting that took place yesterday in Parkland, Florida. That uh, at the time of recording this video has uh, has taken the lives of 17 people. Uh, I also wanted to use the reach of this channel to uh, they're linked below, but to share some verified links with you of ways that you can help the victims and the families uh, of those affected by the shooting. The one at the top is a verified fundraiser from the uh, Broward County Public School District to, uh, to specifically help provide relief and financial support for the victims and their families. So, and I wanna now share with you um, the story of one of the heroes from yesterday's shooting. Uh, I'm going to read to you from a story in the Washington Post, which I'll also link below. An assistant football coach at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School died after risking his life to protect, to protect students from the gunman who fatally shot at least 17 people in the South Florida school. Aaron Feist, who doubled as a school security guard, was shot after throwing himself in front of was shot after throwing himself in front of students as the gunman opened fire Wednesday afternoon. As a youth, he played center for the Douglas Eagles football team from 1995 to 1998. After graduating, he returned to the school in 2002 to coach and has worked there ever since. Once the attack had ended, a student said that Feiss jumped between her and the shooter to push her out to push her out through a door and out of the line of fire. Several students offered similar accounts, saying that Feist was wounded while trying to protect people from the gunfire. Feist was hit several times covering other students at Douglas. I'm paraphrasing a lot of this, but the, the story then goes on to say some very nice things about Aaron Feist. If I wanted so much as a place to sit, his office was always open, said Ashley Speisel, a 22-year-old former student. He'd sit with me, he'd talk to me, he'd let me be in silence. He was, friendly, he was friendly with everybody, but he also knew when not to be friendly and when he needed to be the authority figure. Feist had a football player's husky frame, a bald head, and was known for sporting dark sunglasses, even when he was inside. A big old teddy bear, said the head coach. Loyalty, I trusted him, he had my back, he worked hard. Just a good man. A good guy that is well liked by his students and his players, said another former student. We would, would talk with him often between lunch and class. Seeing all my former classmates posting about him today shows his impact, shows that his impact on the school is undeniable. I'll, um, and the story goes on to say that uh, Aaron Feist, who is 37, is my age, he left behind a wife and a young he left behind a wife and a young daughter. There are tons of stories out there about this guy. I'll link the one that I just read from below. Um, I, I just want to share it with you because I know that when stuff like this happens, it sort of feels like the whole world is this just horrible cesspool. But when you, you look for the heroes and the, the good people in it, you realize there are a lot, there are a lot of good people out there. And there are, there are a lot more good people wanting to do good things than horrible people wanting to do horrid things. Um, okay, that's it. Uh, please give the, the links below some attention if you can, uh, even if you just want to share them. Hey, so as I, was, um, as I was editing this video, I just got an email from a girl named Alexandra. Hey Casey, I'm, I'm, I'm sending this email today regarding the school shooting in Parkland. I actually attend the school where it happened and I was there when it happened and I know Coach Aaron Feist who passed away attempting to protect other students. Um, and then she just kind of goes on to say that uh, she'd be happy to talk to me if I wanted to talk to her. So right after this little clip here, you'll see a video pop up and that video is her kind of, you know, sharing, uh, it's on her personal channel, but anyway, just watch it i think it, it provides some really it provides just kind of a a, a, a it's a first-hand insight into what what transpired 